Let me just tell you right now, today's video is going to be boring because DC is pretty boring today. Sorry. That is a blue heron. That's sort of like the Nash, the state bird of Maryland or something. It's a water bird. Looks kind of like a stork. But there are a lot of them over in the Chesapeake Bay. And there's one over here on the Potomac by National Airport. Hey, good morning, guys. Well, actually, it's kind of afternoon. It's about 12 o'clock. And we are finally getting out of the house after a day full of kids act morning activities. It's that back to school time in Washington, D.C. All the universities are back to school. The public schools are going back today in Virginia. I'm not sure when the D.C. publics are going back. The privates go back in the next week or two. But there's definitely a lot more activity in the city today than there was last week. A lot more kids running around. We're going to head down, oh, probably down to the White House, maybe over to the mall, get a hot dog, then make our way back up to Georgetown. We'll check in some of the kids moving in, both at Georgetown and George Washington University, and a little bit of normalcy gets back to the academic world here in Washington. Let's see what else we can see. Oh, it's actually 1 o'clock. I told you guys it was 12, but now I've come back to the official U.S. government time. And official U.S. government time kept here at the Naval Observatory is 1.06.13. So that is the official time. That's the actual clock that they use for the IRS. Did you file by midnight? And that's the clock that tells the IRS's computers what is midnight. Right up there is the vice president's house. The vice president is not around. They're actually running around Asia right now. I saw her this morning in Singapore. And Vietnam is next on the list. Vice President will be in Asia shoring up our allies after, well, after the Afghanistan situation kind of made some of our allies in Asia question the United States' reliability. We're going to head down to the White House where they're going to be giving a speech, I think, about Afghanistan and or meeting the WNBA Seattle Sonics or something like that. Whoever the WNBA champion last year is coming to the White House today for their meet and greet at the White House. So maybe we'll see some WNBA players coming out of the White House grounds. Not that I would recognize them in the first place. <laughs> I'm just going to be looking for really, really tall girls. There's the British Embassy, still under construction. And we are on kind of a bonsai downhill. We're on a pedal-powered bike today, not an electric, because, well, it was all downhill for the first mile or two. But if we can find a electric bike, we will dump this one and switch over. So back up there is Barack Obama's house. Don't know if he's in town. He's still in Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard. This guy's gonna back up into me. No, no. He managed to escape being run over by an ambassador or a diplomatic car. Always a good thing. Diplomats have immunity from traffic prosecution, so if they uh, run into you in a car, uh, there's not a lot you can do except get hurt. <laughs> there is the Venezuelan ambassador's house. Looks like they just cut the grass. But I'm not sure if it's currently occupied, as the U.S. and Venezuela don't really see eye to eye on a lot of things. This is the Mexican mission to the OAS, the Organization of American States. The Mexican Embassy is downtown. This is Ivory Coast, I believe. Cote d'Ivoire, yep. This is either Ivory Coast or a new embassy, I'm not sure. Malawi, United Arab Emirates Education Division, Education Affairs Office. And there is Cameroon and Croatia, and Korea. Got all those hard sea sounding countries in one place. In Kyrgyz, that's right, Kyrgyz Republic. Four hard sea sounds, or K sounds. So over there is George Washington University Hospital. That is pretty much the closest trauma center. I don't know if it's technically a trauma center, but the closest emergency room to downtown. Whenever a police officer is shot or political guys suffering something like a heart attack or even when Reagan was shot. They were brought to GW Hospital here on the campus of George Washington University where the kids had come back yesterday. And I think that's why I can't find any bikes. <laughs> any electrics, all the kids are running around. 
24th and H. No, 20, yeah, 24th and H. I've shown you guys this before, but this is the center of the Earth. As once decided by the U.S. government, this was the American Meridian. This is where the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere of the world was divided, as far as the Americans concerned, from about 1848 to 1884. But then the whole world got together and decided that Greenwich, Greenwich Mean Time, the Greenwich Meridian, would be the one true meridian of the world. And the American Meridian, well, it just became a historical marker. And from what I've read, there's actually been a couple different American meridians. There was this one, and then there were a couple others in town. It moved around a bit back when we weren't that particular. Wow. So there's big groups of uh, kids walking around as their dorm, getting the tour from the upperclassmen. All right, this is where you go. This is where you go for the best pizza. This is where you go if you're sick. This is where you go if you want to skip class and you just want to copy the notes from somebody. <laughs> That's one of those kind of groups. Oh, it's crowded. Let's swing into the bike rack. The bike lane. But for those of you who watched me bike back here over the last, well, the last few months, it's been pretty quiet, yeah? But it's starting to change quite a bit. We're seeing students, professors, parents walking around. Here's a bunch of guys in GW University t-shirts, probably helping all the kids do their move in. A lot of these buildings are dorms around here, a lot of the older apartment buildings. And the law school is right there. That red building on the left is the GW Law School. But then we slip into World Bank, International Monetary Fund. And all these buildings around here, well, they belong to the IMF and the World Bank Group. So let's continue on a couple blocks to the White House and see what's new downtown. Before we go get something, I want to get by this truck. Get by this truck. Made it. This road is closed, that's kind of strange. Like the light. This is H Street by Lafayette Park, at 17th. Could be construction related. They're still allowing pedestrians, but uh, the whole street is closed. And it's closed by DC police, which is a tad odd. I mean, normally if it was something White House related, the Secret Service would be out here too. Let's try to figure this out. A protest march possibly? A lot of police cars down there. They just resurfaced this road. Like, last week? Two weeks ago? So... Don't think... It's construction on this road. I think... There might be a protest. Down in the distance. Yep. It's a protest. There's a large group... Coming into Lafayette Park down 8th Street. Following that police car that you see turning, they got some banners. Let's go take a look. Still no idea. Let the people outside the doors. Protect the water. Climate justice. Mm. An environmental protest. Stop the MVP. This is an anti pipeline protest. To the black snake. No more pipelines. This is 
a PT. This is a uh, not a PTU, a CDU, civil disobedience unit, basically. A riot squad based on bikes. And there's all the police. Not a very big place. So up on top of the White House, the uh, spotters are now up and active. They are checking out this group with their binoculars and their spotter scopes, just in case, just in case there's a threat. So 17th Street is now being closed off to cars, and they're going to have what will happen. The reason is that uh, the president is going to walk from the Oval Office across the street to the old executive office building. He's going to walk across West Executive Avenue, which is right over there. If I was in the park, if I was right over there, I could see that take place. But they don't want me to see that. I guess there's also a tunnel, too. But uh, he can just walk right across the street. He's going to go over into that building, and he's going to make a speech. So, all I can show you is a police car blocking the road and maybe a hot dog. You guys want to see a hot dog? Alrighty, we are on an electric bike, thank God. Let's get tired of those pedal bikes. And we're gonna make our way back over to Georgetown. This is a PETA protest that's here uh, pretty much every day. Ice cream man takes credit cards. That's good. Let's uh, spin down the monuments, the memorials. Well, first we'll head up to the Washington Monument, then we'll spin down to the Lincoln Memorial. And then we'll probably go over to Georgetown, make some, some lunch. That hot dog I had during my live stream, I didn't cut it, you know. That just wasn't there. Fifty U.S. flags flying around the Washington Monument. is off in the distance there in the background. You see the White House? And oh, there is the actual Marine One helicopter. Technically called the Nighthawk right now. So that is just, just a Nighthawk, not technically Marine One, because the President's not on board. But that's one of the VH3s used in the presidential fleet for the president's transport. Let's see if we can go over this way. Nobody coming that way. Hmm. Nice ricochet. That, by the way, is John Paul Jones. That's the John Paul Jones statue, kind of in the middle of a traffic circle so that no one can actually get to it, which is quite inconvenient. Ah. Some remnants of this weekend's flooding down here. We had a massive rain the other day. It flooded this area. It's one of the low-lying areas of DC next to the tidal basin. And that's though I guess the storms have moved up to the northeast. We're kind of done for a few days, I hope. Alrighty, let's get down behind the World War II and make our way to Lincoln. It is so nice in the shade and so awful in the sun. We'll do a little of both. So we'll show you the sun here and the reflecting pool. Memorial, being all memorial 
week. <laughs> we are going to cut. We're going to have to take a slightly different route today. Now, as you know, normally I go down to the riverfront. Normally I go down to the riverfront, but the uh, path along the riverfront is closed until next year. And I'd have to do a big detour around the Kennedy Center. So I think we're just going to do some of the detour now and cut down by the Watergate Hotel. All right, so we're heading down Pennsylvania Avenue into Georgetown, where we're not really sure what we're going to do, but it will probably get some food. Maybe we'll go up to the campus, yeah? Oof. So the other day when there was the shutdown at the U.S. Capitol for the potential bomber, a lot of you were asking me how I knew the fire truck was, quote, the donut truck. And that's because this fire station right here, Engine 5, is the headquarters of the canteen and rehab unit, which is actually on deployment right now. Hmm, must be a fire somewhere. Oh, that's right, they have a big incident on the 3rd Street Tunnel right now. The canteen and rehab unit is staffed by volunteers and provides food and drink to the firemen at big fires. It's based here in Georgetown, but it deploys across the city. So the other day when I saw Engine 5 escorting a small vehicle, I knew it was the donut truck. And so did the firemen, and more importantly, the policemen. The policemen came running when they saw the donut truck was arriving. <laughs> I mean, that said, it is 90-some degrees. The guys are wearing their fireman turnout jackets and whatnot. It's, uh, it's not exactly very cool. So having that rehab unit actually serves a very vital role to keep the firemen hydrated, healthy, fit, hungry, fed, etc. So yeah, I am in smelling distance of the barbecue joint. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name or at least know you as the weird guy who comes in with a camera and eats a lot of barbecue. I think the latter is more appropriate in this place. But we are going to show up here at Rockland's and get ourselves a sandwich. Yeah, I'm a creature of habit. But it's good habit. So guys, that's a Monday in Washington. And there was not a lot going on. Sorry to say, just not a lot going on in the big city. Anyway, tomorrow's another day. We'll be out again. Feel free to subscribe. I show you guys what's going on every day. I don't exaggerate. I don't make stuff up. I just go out for a walk and let you guys walk along with me. Or a scooter. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll come at you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.